Hey everyone, back with Coach Kara. I know we briefly talked about some fat burning foods that were specifically for your core area or your belly. Obviously we can't specifically spot train one area to lose weight in. It's gotta be a perfect combination of, you know, moving more and eating better and eating less because if you're not in a caloric deficit, you're not gonna lose weight, the end, period, end of story. But I wanna talk a little bit more about some protein, some carbohydrates, and also some fats that really help you to, you know, burn fat, which is basically, you know, a lot of us wanna do that. So first and foremost, you can look at boiled eggs. So some of you might not like eggs. Eggs are an excellent source of protein. And there's also something called food density. And if that kind of doesn't make sense to you, you compare, say, a fried egg to a boiled egg. Obviously, the boiled egg is actually more dense than your fried egg. So therefore, you're going to feel like you're eating a, a heavier meal and it's going to fill you up quicker. Plus, boiled eggs, I mean, you boil them, you throw them, you know, in a bag or whatever it is, and they're easy to travel with. I know most of us are at home right now, uh, but it doesn't take long at all to make some boiled eggs for yourself, like 15 minutes tops, and that includes peeling the shell. Um, so I would highly recommend that. There's also, of course, your meat sources. So your chicken breast, I would highly recommend that too. Just throw it in a little bag. Obviously, once it's cooked, it's just easily access accessible. And protein is a, is going to keep you satiated. So you're going to fill up and it, protein is super important. We've talked about this as well. You wanna make sure that you're getting about one gram of protein per body pound. And if you are somebody that lives in the US, you can easily convert that to kilograms. I believe it's 0.86 or something of that nature of grams of uh, protein compared to one kilogram. So you can actually easily convert that. And that's kind of the rule of thumb because you need two things in life to survive, one being water, the second being protein. Protein feeds your muscles. It obviously keeps you fuller longer. And I just highly recommend it because it's definitely something that we, we need in our diets. A few other things in terms of uh, carbohydrates that can help burn fat. One is berries. So if you're somebody that actually enjoys protein shakes, which would of course be a protein source to help burn fat, and uh, you are adding say some fruit to that smoothie, a lot of the times we think if we jam pack it with, you know, banana and berries and strawberries and blackberries and blueberries and all this other things that we're actually getting more nutrients, which is kind of true. But at the same token, if weight loss is your goal, I recommend to stick to one fruit with your protein shake. I personally prefer vegan protein, uh, not for nothing, but I just can't digest whey very well. And if you are somebody that likes whey protein, you may notice that you'll get a bloated stomach or it feels like it's sitting in the bottom of your stomach afterwards. And that's because it clearly comes from a cow. So it's an animal protein. And for me, I just prefer to get my protein powders from a uh, vegan source. And if you do have an option between, you know, getting a whole food source of protein or getting a powder, I would recommend that you start with your whole foods first. Highly recommend it, okay? Um, some other things that you can do for healthy fats would be avocado. Avocado is so great in antioxidants and not to mention it's friggin' delicious. If you're somebody that, you know, needs some extra seasonings, don't be afraid of that. That's kind of going back to the last video. You can watch, of course, the sodium, but what's going to happen even if you do have some seasonings that have sodium in, you're going to gain water weight, which really at the end of the day, it's going to go away. Just be careful. Obviously, you don't want to overdo it on the sodium, but Things like sriracha added to an avocado or even everything bagel seasoning. I know that that's kind of the big fad now. You can go to town on that. Some other things are, you know, chili peppers. They actually will spike your temperature. So you're going to burn more calories when you're having these chili peppers. And that's kind of where the sriracha comes in. Um, sriracha does have a little bit of sugar, but nowhere near um, an amount unless you're using literally like a quarter of the bottle for you to be concerned about. Um, other carbs I would highly recommend would be sweet potatoes. They are delicious. I mean, you can do a bunch of things with sweet potatoes. You can mash them, you can bake them, you can cut them into little uh, square or squares and roast them. You can cut them into circles and have them more of like a chip sort of idea. Um, and again, you can season them with some sea salt, maybe some herbs, whatever you feel is necessary. Another really great carbohydrate to use to help burn fat would be your oatmeal. Oatmeal is very slow digesting and does have some protein in it. So once again, it's gonna keep you fuller longer. And then if you can add, you know, say some protein powder or something of that nature, maybe one berry on top, it's gonna to be kind of a balanced meal for you. So I highly recommend it. You'll notice a lot of, you know, competitors and build bodybuilders, et cetera, sometimes they'll eat oatmeal because it's just such a slow release in carbohydrates. So it's gonna keep you fuller longer. Um, other things I'd recommend for carbs would be brown rice. Uh, so again, it's just gonna, it, there's more fiber in brown rice. And if you're somebody that doesn't do really well with uh, any wheat sources, you can look for like a jasmine rice or something of that nature. 
Um, other really, I guess, things to kind of help suppress your appetite would be a soup. Just be careful with the soups again, because again, if they are like a cream-based soup, obviously that's not going to help you lose weight because it's packed with dairy and fat, saturated fat, the wrong type of fat. But if it's something like a vegetable soup or chicken soup, and maybe there's, you know, a lot more broth than normal, it's going to help fill you up and burn that sort of uh, body fat a lot sooner. Um, and the only other thing I would say to help burn body fat other than food would be to move more. And it goes back to what every single, you know, health coach and nutrition coach in the world says, if you're not moving enough, uh, especially now, since we're kind of caught in the house a lot more than we ever used to be, you have to make a point of getting up like every 20 to 30 minutes maximum, not only for y y yes, your weight loss, but also just for your energy levels. It's so daunting to sit at a computer for like seven or eight hours a day. And trust me, I've never been somebody to sit at a computer as long as I have been lately, but my life and my jobs, I've transitioned to the computer. So I actually set an alarm, believe it or not, because I don't want it to be, you know, going into 35 minutes and 45. And then the next thing you know, like an hour and a half has passed since the last time I got up. Make sure your workstation is appropriate too, because again, posture problems. If you don't have a strong core, you're going to start to feel a whole bunch of pressure in the upper back and your neck. And even now, like I already find that um, the less I pay attention to my posture and the more involved I am with what's happening on my screen, I'm going to start hunching forward. Okay. So you really want to be preventative in that nature. We don't want to cause any injury and stuff of that because we have to be home. So make sure you have an ergonomic uh, workstation set up. You know, you have a mouse in the proper uh, situation. Of course, your desk is at the right height. And a lot of people have been, um, uh, investing in standing workstations, which I do highly recommend. You may have seen in the past too, some people buy like a, a ball to sit on an exercise ball so they're working more of their core. If none of that is a possible uh, you know, thing for you at this point, set your alarm every 25 to 30 minutes at the minimum. Get up, walk around, even if you do say 50 steps around your house, I don't know, walk up and down the stairs, do a load of laundry, clean the kitchen, do something else that's productive and I understand a lot of you have to work but even if you're someone that can't necessarily get away from your device or your computer uh, every 30 minutes then you just need to make sure that you're standing up you can do some stretches you can do and don't do static stretching do dynamic stretching so you're moving your body around and your blood is flowing and you feel that you're not so stiff all the time so Hopefully you enjoyed this video. It's all about fat burning. I'm sure there's a lot of other things that we can talk about. Obviously vegetables being one of them. Uh, vegetables are full of fibers, so it's gonna fill you up faster, clearly nutrients. And honestly, I love vegetables. That's why I always recommend them. My biggest rule of thumb is to fill like half of your plate with vegetables. And the reason I'm saying that is again, it's so good for you. Yes, they are still a source of carbohydrates, but it also has fiber. A lot of us have regularity issues too. So it's a great way to start everything flowing in your body and I can't recommend it more. So if you didn't uh, get the previous video about some specific belly fat um, blasting things that I've recommended for your nutrition, then you can go back or I'll link the video up here. Have an awesome day, everybody, and an even better weekend. Talk to you soon.